nipples. <laughs> Hello. 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 And, and welcome. welcome. To, uh, uh, another another episode, episode, to Drax uh, Nipples. Uh, yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to Drax Nipples. Nipples. <laughs> a new yeah. TTRPG. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have two stats rolled. left and right. <laughs> <laughs> you roll a dice for each side. You roll Some people have other stats. The extra nipple. Well, that's when you roll 3d6. But that was a secret. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. This is the penultimate episode of the How, How to, to Play. play. Uh, uh, I am your, your host, host Zelda, Zelda they, they, them, them podcast, podcast streamer, streamer sometimes, sometimes cosplayer, cosplayer and community, community manager, or, or adventurous league. league. Uh, uh, let's, let's go around, around and figure, figure out who the heck, heck these people are that are sitting at this table. table. If you so, so desire, desire to introduce your nipples, nipples as well, I will, I will not stop you, but I do, do not, not encourage it. it. Uh, Connie. Oh, great. Love that I'm next always. Hi, everyone. I'm Connie. I play Yali the Firebender. Uh, my pronouns are they, he, led 100% homebrew Dungeons and Dragons show set in Andake, an original non-colonial anti-orientalist world. If that at all sounds interesting to you, tune in every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We also have a podcast version for our backlog of listeners. If you want to hop in fresh, uh, just search Transplaner RPG wherever you pod your casts. And regarding nipples, I'm actually getting top surgery next week. Whoa! So that's exciting yeah. nipple news. Congratulations. <laughs> Exciting nipple news. <laughs> Don't lift uh, any cats. That's one of my uh, my my friend who recently got top surgery said it was one of the hardest things that uh, they had to not do. <laughs> mm, well, I do have a eleven pounder cat. You cannot lift on that the cat. Couch. Do not lift that cat. He'll huh. just have to brush up against my legs. There uh, go. Speaking of nipples and kings, Drac. <laughs> that was good. Nipples and kings, okay. Um, well, hi, I'm Draconics, or Jack for short. I use he, they pronouns, and I play Arzu, who also uses he, they pronouns. Um, I don't have any exciting nipple news. Um, I have nipples. That's exciting. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I, are you check. a mammal? <laughs> Yeah, I do. Okay. I definitely you do. Checked. I believe we, you. We should probably check. Um, I don't know. That's it. I feel like for some reason I feel like it's against terms of service. Um, <laughs> and we have one more episode after this left, so I don't want to get this. Yeah, we gotta make. Oh, yeah. oh, you gotta. Maybe yeah, we gotta the keep finale. the audience coming back for more. I'll save it for the finale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, am I meant to announce? Is there anything else that I'm meant to say? I, that's all I can think of right now. Um, Ozzy also has nipples. Um, I don't know, he might show them during the game. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, okay, I feel less comfortable asking Azu about his nipples. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Well, uh, the monster who started all of this, Fana, how are you? <laughs> Do you call me a monster? <laughs> what? No, I would never. Wait, so it wasn't really Vanna, technically. It was Michelle that brought up the sexy saxophone guy. That's okay, right. but I said he just went out without a shirt. I didn't specify anything. You on said his that could have been you, Drac. You could have been yeah. the shirtless man at the mall playing the saxophone. Yeah, you could have been. Just careless whispers for days. <laughs> I just want to put it out there that Michelle is indeed the monster. Um, okay, fine. So. I'll be your nipple. Okay, it. I will be your nipple monster. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but hi, I'm Vanna. My pronouns are she, her. Uh, I'm playing Coral, also pronouns she, her, uh, who is an earthbender. And um, I'm playing the idealist um, playbook from the Avatar RPG uh, system. And um, right now I'm trapped in a, in a tank, not a train, Are you sure? a literal tank <laughs> you sure with an old man named Bagel, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is not my dad. <laughs> not our dad. So things are going pretty great for me. Really excited. <laughs> Did everybody go? <laughs> no. no. Michelle. It's just me. Michelle. Popcorn Michelle. 
All right. Hi, I'm Michelle Rapp, a.k.a. tonight's nipple monster. Yes. This moniker will be passed around <laughs> as the episode goes on. Um, you can, I am mostly, you can find me on the internet. I'm mostly known for uh, yelling at the clouds, um, posting pithy tweets about Magic the Gathering, TTRPGs, um, feminism, and anti-capitalist bullshit. So there's that, and also um, tonight I will be playing Dechen, who is a wonderful, whimsical, extremely chill airbender. Um, and uh, as far as Dechen's relationships with mammalian glands and things like that, I mean, she lives in yeah. basically a hippie commune full of air people, air nomads. So let's just say that she's seen enough for a lifetime. Yeah, let them fly. Yeah, them and breathe. and and my my pronouns are they she and so are her pronouns so yeah and she also has a um a flying boar whose name is Razorwing we have not yet interrogated Razorwing about the status of his nipples but that is something we can certainly go into this episode if we so choose <laughs> huh well um i think what a good idea is if chat wants to donate um yeah. they can decide how many nipples Razor, oh my razor god! Ass. Yeah, <laughs> for every uh, five amounts of five dollars, that's one extra nipple for Razor Wing. For five oh my dollars? gosh! Give Razor more than one nipple, please. <laughs> <laughs> they can't just have one nipple. Um, and with that being said, uh, we are the RPG Exploration Society, um, and we have some goals this session. Uh, we are aiming to raise one hundred and fifty dollars per episode, or 35 new subs um hitting that 150 per episode if you really want to donate it in the best way it is to donate for nipples five dollars per nipple we'll add another to razor fang uh razor wing and i think that's probably the most essential part about this entire game um however hitting this each night does allow us to continue playing um and to continue to pay our amazing cast um even if you can't afford to back us please spread the word and share the stream with family or friends um maybe omit the nipple part of the conversation just let them know that we're playing avatar legends the rpg a tip of just 15 dollars will allow you to send us which we will read live on air nipples included Yes. Uh, so uh, a huge thank you, everyone, to our season sponsor, Hero Forge, for supporting us. Type exclamation point Hero Forge in the chat to check out this wonderful customization tool they've created and get your very own personalized miniature figure now with full color options today. I don't know if you saw the going light tweet, but it has all of our like cute little Hero yeah. Forge minis lined up under our headshots. It's yes, adorable. So it's seriously. So great. It's really, really cool. If you don't have an account already, open one up. It's it's so worth it to just play around in there with the tools and build your own uh, TTRPG character. And speaking of uh, ways to support the show and money, Drac. Yeah, so we're also in partnership with Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can get 10% off anything you buy at Die Hard Dice using the code SAVINGFLOW22 at checkout. If you use command DHD, um, it should come up with the links and all the information you need from there. And you can just get... You can never have enough dice, basically. So just use the 10% off and just buy a horde of them that you yes. can, I don't know, lay upon like a dragon. Do they sell buckets of dice? You could just like fill it up in your bathtub and then lay in it? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Have you never thought about that? Can you I imagine am now. a D4 <laughs> up your bunk? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> On accident? Uh, oh, also, so um, happy Lunar New Year and also uh, happy Black Issue Month. But now yes. I'm going to over to Michelle. <laughs> All right. Um, hi. And oh, gosh, what am I doing? Yes. I am saying hello to all of you wonderful YouTube viewers. Thank you so much if you're watching this on YouTube for spending time with us as we continue on the misadventures of this merry band of siblings. Um, and if you are watching, please consider commenting, liking, subscribing, smashing that bell, that whole nine yards. That would be so amazing. It super helps the show and the channel as a whole. Lastly, Vanna. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, lastly, support the channel through tips and monthly subscriptions via Ko-Fi. Enter exclamation point Ko-Fi in the chat to check it out. On Ko-Fi, you can tip as you would regularly, but you can also join the Exploration Society with a monthly amount. You can get same great rewards as Patreon, and you can unlock things like toasts with your tips. 
Plus, Ko-Fi doesn't take a cut, so nearly 100% of your tip goes straight to the channel. After PayPal, of course. Thank you. Fabulous. All right. Before I jump right into the recap, um, I have a question for everybody to kind of get back into the flow of it. Um, so last week I asked what um, what story or rumor uh, have you heard of your dad? Um, and today I want to ask, how do you all imagine him? Based on what you've been told by your parents or what you've just heard uh, in town, how do you imagine this fatherly figure that has had zero real impact on your life? Well, I have an idea. <laughs> yes! So um, many people have told Ozzy that um, he looks a, a lot like his mom. Um, so I think, and Ozzy thinks he's, he thinks he's goddamn gorgeous. You know, like he, <laughs> he thinks he's, he's uh, top shit. So, um, so he's like, I got everything from my mom. My dad, my biological dad was the ugly, ugliest, like just absolutely <laughs> monster of a human. Um, uh -huh. Just the worst. And um, the only reason why my, my mom like thought she fell in love with him was because um, he pretended to be a, a semi-decent guy kind of deal. So um, yeah, he thinks he's, he thinks he's like just but ugly. Just in inside and out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That really keeps up with your interpretation of this of your father. He's a slutty dad for sure. Um, <laughs> Dechen, what about you? So when um, Dechen was a kid, it was just a little girl. Um, she asked her mother what her dad looked like. And her mother gave her this description as her mother was giving her this description. Dechen drew um on a little piece of paper what she thought he looked like based off of her mother's description and it basically came to a really gangly stick figure with green eyes and like <laughs> wacky hair and <sighs> like since then um Dechen's like mental image of her father hasn't iterated too much on that so she thinks of like He's probably, yeah, just kind of like a stick figure of a person with like green eyes and wacky hair and hasn't really given him much thought um, ever since. Like she's honestly never, I think more than her siblings, just never really thought about her dad all that much. So yeah, the first image that comes to her head is a stick, it's just that stick drawing she made when she was like five. <laughs> that is so perfect. Um, what about Coral? Um, I was thinking like, uh, something not totally dissimilar, but, um, that since he's a musician, like he kind of takes after like, um, those really like skinny, uh, boy musicians who are just very like sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like he's a lead singer of death cab for cutie or something oh like that. God. You know what I mean? Like that kind of. <laughs> That kind of uh, sad indie punk um, body Mr. type. Mr. Ben Gibbard? Yeah. yeah. Mr. <laughs> ben Gibbard? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, and also, like, of course, tall, you know, because you got to be mm -hmm. tall, scrawny, and sad to really fit the bill of what I'm going for here. So Totally. Totally. Mm -hmm. uh, hair swoop optional. Um, oh, definite. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Liner? Black liner? I mean, na it's natural somehow. <laughs> <laughs> he just never lashes. sleeps. He yeah. never sleeps. He just has sex with everything. Yes, did you say he has sex with everything? <laughs> he has sex with everything. That's why he still has dark circles. Oh he doesn't sleep. He just has oh my god. god. That is a problem. And he should see somebody if that's that, the case. Yeah, there's probably a lot more of us than <laughs> Oh no, it's been established that there have been yeah. a lot of yes. kids and they have mostly died. What? They yeah, died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot so of the them Fire Nation died. kidnapped them mm -hmm. and tried to make them use their brain boarding technique, and it killed oh, was them. This, was this? The, Wait, that's probably what's going to happen to Coral, actually. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think but this yeah, is when we regret, around, yes. yeah, we regret yeah. to inform you that many of our siblings have <laughs> are, are no longer with us. <laughs> we have other siblings. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Coral doesn't know that. Then I guess no. no, no Coral doesn't know that. your character doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just worrisome you know hey but you're well, going we into this siblings, an optimist. let's go meet them <laughs> Ooh, uh, <about> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> yes 
Dechen comes with an elaborate metaphor about leaves falling in the wind. <laughs> 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 okay, and finally, Yali, how do you picture this uh, the the slutty dad? Both I and Yali have a very vivid image uh, of what our dad looks like, which is kind of like, uh, like everyone has said, I think we're all on the same page about him being kind of tall and lanky, right? Like, I think like kind of like haggardly athletic is the way I describe him, right? Like, very caffeine. athletic. Mm-hmm. I like that, yeah. Like someone who doesn't actually work out or strength cha- oh. train, but is frustratingly strong, right? But it's like really strong, even though they don't do, probably because they like lug around heavy instruments all day or something mm-hmm. like farm strength or whatever. Um, and I imagine that he kind of has like, well, Yali does, uh, like shaggy kind of dark, uh, like kind of tastefully unkempt hair, like Aizawa from My Hero Academia. Yes. Uh, the kind of like, <laughs> you know, like the teacher. Um, and he's got like some like tasteful stubble. You know what I mean? Like a little Taste bit of like a washed stubble. up rock star. Like a little Aizawa. bit like this grown is just, up. This is just Ben Boy Gifford band. with Zoe Deschanel's hair. <laughs> yes. This couple have fused. <laughs> okay. And also my something. literal stick drawing. It's mm-hmm. the literal stick drawing. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is fantastic. All right. So. Last time on Avatar Legends, we found Coral in a temporary prisoner settled. Oh, that's not right. Uh, temporary prisoner. Ooh, I need an adjective situation? here. Situation. Room. Oh. Situation. Cell. Cell. Hole. That works. Hole. <laughs> Wasn't quite a hole, but. Thank you for that suggestion. There's no wrong answers. <laughs> Except for that Seems one. Seems like there are. <laughs> we find Coral in this holding cell, uh, accompanied by an old man. Um, after some brief conversation, uh, she discovers his name is Bagel, and he has been put in there for some vague cabbage reasons that have to do with the Fire Nation soldiers. Coral makes a uh, heartfelt attempt at escape that falls quite short. But it's not long before the doors are opened anyways, and the two of them are escorted out to a prisoner transport convoy, uh, which is in the form of a massive red tank with, like, threatening treads. Um, I don't personally know enough about tanks. Um, uh, Michelle, I do appreciate that you sent us a kawaii kind of tank post recently and i should have taken that opportunity to really analyze what this tank could look like um for the sake of making it cute i think on the side um instead of having like a a sexy person it's got like um like really cute kawaii eyes with the little uh like blush lines (laughs) um but it's just rolling down the street like oh hi (laughs) guys oh hi super cute (laughs) Nobody knows why they made it like this, but nobody is complained. <laughs> On the other side of the capital, the three kids had to kind of call for help. They relied on Yali's ability to have contacts within the city reach him. And they met this tiny individual whose name was incredibly, un- uh, incredibly unimportant. Uh, unless somebody remembers. I don't. Roki. It was like, it began with an... Uh, Ragu. I think it was Ragu. Rag- oh, yes. Yes. Ragu. Absolutely Ragu. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because uh, like I remember you said that you knew their cousin Pagu, and they're like, yeah, my cousin Pagu. I'm Ragu. <laughs> I remember that sticking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad it's those moments that really stay with everyone. <laughs> Uh, so Ragu leads you to this warehouse that was once where, you know, the rumors of kids getting canned, uh, kind of all originated here, but this once empty warehouse has been repurposed to take care of all of the kids that kind of run amok in the street. And you meet the leader of this warehouse, um, titled Rat Mommy. She is in fact just a pile of rats kind of stuck to each other through various means and there's a variety of objects kind of piled within her but she sits atop this beautiful throne so it's hard to deny rat mommy. Um, Azu, however, tries to test the patience of this ball of clumped up together rats and is put in his place. Was I? In a way. Not really. They sucker punched me, okay? Yeah. They didn't give up like 
they didn't even challenge me to a duel like an honorable <laughs> fighter would they just, just sucker dragged... me out of nowhere yeah and then and then yali and i just dragged you out of the you don't fight that mommy out of one but but you did acquire the information in, uh, through a unique means, one way or another. You found out that Coral has been captured by the Fire Nation um, and where she is being taken. And that is towards the Royal Palace. Now, we are going to pan in. Hold on. I have a cough right here. We are going to pan in on the three. Yali, Dechen, and Azu. How are you trying to track down Coral? Oh, we on the pig. Oh. We are on the Yeah, pig. we're on Razor Wing. We're on Razor yeah. Wing. Razor Wing is flying overhead. We know um, Yali's put together that like rubber only comes from like, you know, uh machines made by the palace. I think like we came to that conclusion last week. So Yali's like, the mm -hmm. palace. Like we gotta go to the palace. That's where they're taking coral. That's probably where all the other brain boiled step siblings are, right? As well. Oh, yeah. uh, so <laughs> we're we're on Razor Wing, I assume. We're on Razor Wing and we're flying towards the palace. Um going at a pretty hasty speed, but not too hasty that we can't see what's going on beneath us. And so I think we're like keeping an eye out for any weird activity going on below. Ozzy is grumbling to himself like I could have I could have fought. You could have taken her. Taken on her. <laughs> but no, we had to run away. Now she's gonna think I'm a coward. I can find her after we find Carol remember. Uh, uh, Ozzy, to a, to a Ozzy, no yeah. one thinks you're a coward. Yeah, but she clearly does. She thinks <laughs> I ran away. She Ozzy, sucker punched me. Ozzy, at, Ozzy, just keep Ozzy. It. <laughs> Go ahead. There's but there's something seriously wrong with Rat Mom, okay? I, I fear that if you actually attacked her, she would have incorporated you into her writhing mass of rats, and we would have lost another sibling. It's so starting to sound like you're um you're underestimating me. I don't know if you know, but I'm I, really good at fighting, and those are a bunch of rats. That's all I'm gonna I you know, Rat Mama just reminded me of some of the ancient gods that once in spirits that once roamed this land. And um, we definitely passed down a lot of those stories in my order and they all kind of come to the same conclusion, which is you don't mess with the rats. You just don't mess with them. You know, for once I agree with Dechen, uh, my strict dad. Uh, he also used to t tell me a lot of stories. He'd show me books about uh, spirits, demons, ghouls, that sort of thing to give me a well-rounded cultural education growing up. And yeah, that thing, I don't think that thing was a mother or a person. That thing is definitely animated by some sort of like quasi-bending dark blood magic or whatever that I, I just don't want to dip I, toes in. I, I don't know if it's necessarily dark. I mean, they were taking care of all of those kids. That's gonna be nice. It sucker punched me. Yeah, did you not see the catapulting rat fist ditching? I, I did. I was there. I just think, you know, just because someone punches someone doesn't necessarily mean they're bad, but I'm just glad you're okay. Does anyone want any chocolate? <laughs> yes, yes, actually, please. Actually, yeah, yeah. here's some here's some cookies. <laughs> just Thank you. Take some cookies. Can Razor Wing go any faster? Um, Coral might be getting her brains boiled right as we speak. Okay, uh, I was just going you know, cut uh, to Coral okay. having a dance party with Bagel in. We're having a good time. Um, right before we cut to Coral, though, I need somebody to give me a assess a situation roll. Um, because you are coming into you are overhead of this there's a couple of tanks um, that are kind of rumbling down the street towards the palace um, which is maybe um, like three miles away still I could okay. I could roll it okay it's coming with the creativity so whoever's uh, the creative type would be that I think Azu and I both have a plus one so yeah. Azu you go ahead okay well, I'm nibbling on this cookie, grumbling to myself. I'm looking over a razor wing. Um, ooh, uh, 11. Fabulous. Ooh. So um, you can pick the questions. Um, it's like, what here can I use to blank? Who or what is the biggest threat? What should I be on the lookout for? What's my best way in, out, through? And who or what is, is in the greatest danger? Before you ask the questions, let me kind of finish painting this picture. So you've got this bird's eye view down and you see like this, this convoy of tanks. There's maybe like four or five of them. There are a handful of soldiers that are marching on the side. Um, but most notably, 
um, of the tank on the very end of this little train train um, <laughs> there is it's okay Vanna it's fine <laughs> Um, there is somebody standing on top of the tank with his arms crossed, chest kind of puffed out, one of like the biggest humans that you've seen in a long time, wearing the regalia of the Fire Nation, um, and kind of catch like the glint of, I don't like, whatever they use to denote uh, rank. Okay. Okay. So shoulder pads. So it's, he's got <laughs> really so big good. shoulder pads, outrageously um, big. Like, damn, the wind whistles as it moves uh, past so his shoulder pads. Who? Uh, this is actually tough. So I can ask two questions. Who? Yes. Are... I mean, that person's clearly the biggest threat. Um, so I'm not gonna ask that. What's my no? Who or what is in the greatest danger? No. Uh, yeah. Who or what is in the greatest danger? We um, probably want a good way in though right yeah because we're on like my, a, it's heavily fortified what's my best way in i guess yeah so i'll the, be right back you're golden um the best way to kind of get down here without attracting the attention of all five tanks would probably be to one find out where which one coral is in um and then try to divert um i want to keep using the word train but i feel upset about using that word um try to divert convoy? the convoy mm -hmm. um so you can isolate the one tank that you actually need to rescue your sister hmm so i'm guessing going down and flipping over all these tanks with air bending is probably not a good idea your bending is strong enough to do that oh I don't think so, but you know, it's always fun to try. Each of these tanks weigh at least like 10 razor wings. I've seen the schematics myself. Oh, okay. I guess we don't do that then. Um, so I wonder if how are we gonna figure out what she's where is she uh <gasps> Coral's mm. Coral's drum solo during the concert that we put on when we first met do you think that if we banged out the drum solo she'd be able to return it from inside the tank she'd know it was us we still have so the instruments which... actually right <laughs> yeah <laughs> we, pull... we do we do we do i pull out the yeah. bass <laughs> my bass guitar and I start playing bass <laughs> okay good good <sighs> then let's just uh let's bang out the 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 song we were doing and whichever tank makes music back at us right that was this is the craziest idea I've ever come up with in my life. I think life, it's a actually. fantastic uh, idea. It's so creative. You're great. I love it. You're re nice really? Me. Yeah. Uh, you're awesome. Yali actually blushes a little, like, <laughs> like looks down, like parts there, like perfectly, like waved hair a little bit. <clears throat> well, anyway, it the creativity of the idea doesn't matter if it doesn't work. Uh, all right. Well, uh, why don't you and pick up your instrument? <laughs> I think was was Azu lead like singer? Was Azu the singer? Is that what we decided? I. Thought you were. Yali was. Yeah. Well, we've been. Uh, Drac isn't here to defend himself, so I'm. Yeah. I'm decided that Yali. Yali is here. Just, <laughs> I'm decided so, Yali's is here. So you hear this like yeah. really funky bass coming from above, like super crunchy. <laughs> and yeah, Yali's like, gonna like turn also and like, whew, like taking a like a big breath of air and then just like shh shout out like the lyrics like project down at the tanks while razor rings circling up ahead right like to see which if it could penetrate the steel of the tanks i'm sure this will draw zero approximately zero attention mm -mm. well are we using people... could we use cloud cover <laughs> so they will know maybe they'll just think it's hysteria yeah what's the weather what is the weather like up here azu get some azu actually is the one who has control over clouds because clouds are water so mm -hmm. that's so true um okay i, I think then... trying to I can try to airbend some clouds. Uh, <laughs> is it a cloudy day? It's not. It's it's a nice bright day. I think we're falling into evening a little bit though, but it's still a pretty cloudless. Okay, uh, so evening. it would just look cloudless weird, dusk. like this music cloud. <laughs> we're in the cloud, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. I don't think it would really help us if we made a cloud of ourselves because people would just be like, "Oh, that's a weird cloud." 
Well, it is getting dark. While we make all this noise, I don't want I don't want the soldiers to notice us. Is there a way you can fly razor wing to make it really like zigzaggy and like <clears throat> high oh, behind wires? Yeah, we can we can definitely do that. Nip, okay, nip. okay. <clears throat> I just have to do some oh, warm ups <clears throat> to sit in <laughs> solemn silence and like Yali's <laughs> doing like tongue twisters and like vocal warm ups. Still delivering a crunchy bass. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all are sorting that out inside one of these tanks. Um, yeah, I guess Bagel is just um, trying to show off what dan like what break dancing was like back in his day. Um, it's not a great attempt. Um, I'm trying to remember that one move where you can kind of like hop over your one leg. I don't describe it properly. So what we're going to do is he's trying to show you the worm. Um, but mostly he lay down on the ground and um, oh, I think oh, I think that's my lower back. <laughs> okay, well, dance Are you party okay? over. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, could you help me up? Yeah, uh, and she goes and helps him to his feet. Is there like anything to sit on, like a, like a wheel well or anything like that? Yeah. That I guess sense. I don't have wells, maybe, or a wheel, but like maybe like a a like gear a well, well. <laughs> or a, yeah a gear well it's a long one instead of a round one right hot dog style yeah 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 good example I help him sit on uh, a hot dog <laughs> oh thank you thank you little human um so what did we have an escape plan uh, I know I know we had talked about it and we are surrounded by by fire nation soldiers but we could still come up with something Wait, we're surrounded? How do you how do you know that? Well, I don't. But it's pretty <laughs> It's a pretty educated guess. Are you one of them? Are you still working for them? No, no, you converted me. I'm I'm I believe in the power of friendship and, and all that. <laughs> of course, just like pinching the bridge of her nose like does not want to do with this old guy <laughs> um well i feel like i've tried a number of things and they haven't necessarily worked out you seem to have more information about the situation so do you have any suggestions other than a dance party <laughs> well um, um you took my first suggestion of the dance party so i i think we're doing pretty well um but my second suggestion is, well, there's a trick in the industry called, oh, no, I've fallen and I can't get back up. <laughs> um, if we could lure some Call of that the soldiers. Call that move the life alert. <laughs> <laughs> life alert? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Coral stares into the, into the nothingness <laughs> directly into the audience's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, <clears throat> so we could um, lure a garden that way, and uh, we might get a better view of the outside to see what's going on. Okay, um, so we, I also do not know how tanks work. How is there like um, a partition? <laughs> what is separating us from the person who's operating the tank? Because in my mind, which I think is why I was confused originally, is there's only one. There's only yeah. one thing going on in there. So are we I've, just in the same room? <laughs> I think it depends on how big the tank is, but I can certainly see there being like a really small squished up holding style. I think the inside of a tank is so compact and one singular room that we would essentially be on top <laughs> yeah. of whoever's manning the tank. <laughs> These the guys have like, been dancing this whole time. The operator's like, <laughs> <laughs> can you not? I am trying to drive this tank. We These keep bumping special... him and he's veering off course. <laughs> That's actually very Avatar. We're accidentally <laughs> indicating which which tank we're in by <laughs> I really like I, I point down uh, I point down Oh <laughs> god like, Yali Azu I think that tank is moving it's dancing to our music Of course Azu, give me a uh, push your luck roll and let's figure out just how how intense these nudges are Oh good I found a picture of a child in a tank for scale <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Two things that should not be around each other. <laughs> Why is this child in there? Um, Why? Da, 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 a push uh, your luck. 
comes with passion. Comes with passion, same. Fuck. <laughs> Six. Oh. <laughs> That's a mixed result, isn't it? No, no but what I'm going to say. You know what, though, B? I think it is. No. Bagel <laughs> <I> don't <laughs> helps. Okay, okay, okay. Vanna's because... only been rolling misses. Right. <laughs> okay, fine. Case. I don't need you to tell me that. All right, <laughs> I'm perfectly aware. <laughs> we haven't rolled. I haven't rolled below like an eight in this yeah. game. And Vanna, meanwhile, this is not what happens single... when you're okay. You know, I'm not good at anything. I'm just okay at everything. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, apologies gosh. for being true to myself. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a mixed success with the help of Bagel, who was kind of like uh, dancing and like shaking his, his brittle bones um, <laughs> along with you. <laughs> it really does re, you have to reimagine the scene where he fell on the ground doing the worm. Um, because if there's so <laughs> little space, what? I think it takes up the entire space of inside the tank. Oh and you I'm have picturing nowhere to stand. When, he, when he wiggles, his like head or his like legs kicks like a lever, <laughs> which oh caused like God. it's like the emergency brake on the tank or something. <laughs> and the guy manning it has to come back and be like, "Stop! <laughs> no, no more dancing! <laughs> no more worm!" <laughs> We have no dancing rules here. Just because you can't bend doesn't mean you think you can dance. Come on. <gasps> oh, God. Is a fire nation like footloose? <laughs> oh, my no God. That's why rules. they kidnapped our dad. Not because the brain boiling, but because he played music. <laughs> it makes sense now. Our, our dad is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Oh, no. Not one of you described Kevin Bacon, but that's okay. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, Ben Gibbard, what's the difference? Same difference. Yeah, same, same. Um, so what that makes success, what that means is you are, like, the driver is veering a little, but not so much that, like, Dad should be like, oh, it looks like it's dancing to our, our, our wonderful sky music. Um, more like... Like, this person's never been able to drive in a straight line. Like, their wheel kind of pulls to the left constantly, and they have to overcorrect. Like a shopping cart. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. With a bug yeah. wheel. <laughs> yeah. But the tank version, you know? With yeah. the treads. Which it's explicitly <laughs> built against. But this tank, I don't know what's up Managing. with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's got to um, be coral, right? Yeah. No, that's definitely got it. It's kind of almost dancing in time to our music. It's amazing. I, I like it how just... B was like, that's not what you understand. And Michelle is like, no, honey, that's what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It looks like a little a rhythmic. It would be it's... offbeat if it was dancing to your baseline. Maybe yeah. oh, it's not a, it, maybe it just looks not like a good dancer. It just how looks like you? one of its treads aren't working. If I'm going to be honest, it looks kind of like... Oh, well, we don't have any time to waste. They're almost at the palace gates. We have to take a chance now. Or, or, or lose all right, it. Uh, hold on, everyone. We're gonna dive bomb. Azu, you ready to go out swinging again? Yes, as you see, there's a trickle of blood. Just to go down somewhere. Did I hear the baseline? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and my singing. It sounds <laughs> like there's like a party happening outside, um, but you can't. Hmm. Okay. So I wouldn't a, do I wouldn't do seven, the calm response. Yeah. No, I'm not with the seven. Basically a six. It was like right, a generous B. six point five. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Seven a seven monster. Like now 6. this. 5. <laughs> Maybe like a six on a good day. See, if you hate me, just say so. <laughs> if you it's hate like, me, then don't talk to me. It's wait, like did you hear it's that? Like that coral. I'm like a Pittsburgh <laughs> It's like a it's like a New York six point five though. Like a New York City six point five. You'd be like a ten in Pittsburgh. No, <laughs> You're a six point three. For my average looking ass, so if you could stop. No, I will fight you, Vanna, right now. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> we are all fabulous. All right. So yeah, um, Yelly, Azu, and Dechen, you are able to kind of see the swerving and you cut you're gonna come crashing down. Oh Hell yeah. Gonna, um, I, are we gonna land on top of it or are we landing a I'm thinking it? like I'm gonna look at Dechen and be like, "Do you think if if we really gun it down there, Razor Wing will be able to flip that tank over?" I don't think that Razor Wing. You you said so yourself. This is like ten Razor Wings. Well, there's three of us. 
If we all use our bending to help Razorwing, I could punch it with fire. Azu can punch it with their fists and hopefully water bending. What, uh, and what? you have oh, yeah, I can do that. air bending. Yeah. Okay. I, I was personally thinking we would land on. This is a lot happening where we were hurtling down. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> heard bullet time. I was just yeah. screaming the entire time, like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. We can, like, we don't have to flip. What if we flip the take? We might hurt Coral. So, what if we just, like, you know, land on top of the take and then, like, bust open the top and then we can, you know, bend, bend away? Okay, okay, okay. But if Fire Nation troops start hurtling fire bolts at us while we're up there and exposed, uh, I guess I can it's try okay. to bend the fire away. I mean, why don't? Okay, I can try to take care of the firebenders. Me and Razor Wing, you, Azu, try to get Coral out as quickly as possible. I'll see if I can melt the steel. Okay, cut open ah! path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're, you're muted. muted. Oh, you're muted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now round two. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how me representing my sadness. <laughs> Impeccable acting, Pete. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I'm waiting for my my Oscar. Uh, crashing down. Um, you are going after tank. So the, the tank that's veering is tank four out of the five tanks. Um, mm -hmm. The intimidating look looking general is on tank five. And then there's just like a spattering of Fire Nation soldiers that are around the other three tanks. I'm... Um, so Razor Wing is going to flip it. Oh, uh, no, we're going to land on, land on top. Right? Mm -hmm. We're landing on mm -hmm. top. Um great yeah, yeah yeah that you don't need to roll for that you can do that that's amazing um i think Land this landing on a tank yes <laughs> but like it kind of like like it, the the whole tank sinks into the ground and there's like that wave of dust as like the the wind blows it all back um and there's a moment of silence when you're all atop this tank and then, or like the noise erupts and you start to hear, we're under attack, go, 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 follow your training. What oh. would you like to do? Shoot. Okay, uh, Dechen is going to raise, uh, we use, a, I would love to use a specialty technique at some point. Uh, I forget how that goes again, I but I have wall of, I have wall of perfection. Okay. Um, and I would like to create a perfect wall of defense <clears throat> around myself and any allies directly next to me um yeah that would be cool <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. um tell me about that move and what that looks like um so basically we land on top of it we have like a hero moment where we all look really cool on top of this tank on top of my pig um and then i guess yali and Azu, you slip off and you start immediately trying to bend your way into that tank and i um get off of razor wing and we basically take up Razorwing and I take up defense positions to basically keep as many firebenders off of y'all as possible while you're doing your work. And as I'm, so basically I'm just like doing the airbending thing where I'm like grabbing air and just like moving it into a wall, like almost like a cylindrical wall around us. Ah, that's beautiful. Um, so that specific move, is there any role associated with it? Um, so it says defend and maneuver. So I think I would have to in combat. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. In combat, yeah. So, yeah, I imagine we're gonna about to head into combat. So yes, absolutely. Okay, so hold that. Just remember defend and maneuver. Um, remember how this goes when you engage in combat. All combat. Choose one. Combatants then resolve the approach. Who goes first? Do it in secret. Technically, I mean, you announce it like the moment of. Right. Okay. No, that works though because it's quite clear. Like these Fire Nation soldiers are attacking. Um, they are striking. There's no other really way for it. Um, so go ahead and roll with focus. Okay. Um. Here goes. Do you get any kind of bonus because of that specific move? Um, I mark 
Uh, basically, um, I can mark one fatigue to block a single attack towards the wall, or keep an enemy at bay who tries to penetrate the wall. So basically, I just, I can, I basically have a wall, and I can keep it up five times uh, to keep y'all to just That's like cool. I am your. I'm basically a tank right now as mm -hmm. y'all try to get into this other tank. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Okay, uh, that is um, an eight. <clears throat> okay, that's not bad at all. Okay. Must be nice. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> do you want to mark that fatigue? I'm trying to think if that would happen now or later. Um, like it, it depends, do you want to throw someone at me or? Oh yeah, absolutely. So now I gotta grab my dice. Um, they are attacking. Um, this is a strike. Uh, mark fatigue to inflict a condition on a foe. That's seven. I'll make it an eight because I feel like the Fire Nation, if they have one thing, it's too much passion. Um, so I'm going to mark one fatigue to block a single attack against us. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I've got I've got this wall of whirling wind around us, basically just as um I guess Fire Nation folks like they just punch their punch and kick like fire. Yes. It just rolls up into the wind and dissipates like almost immediately. I love that. All right, Azu, Yali, you have this wall of defense behind you now. In front of you is this massive six i mean six and a half feet you know um tall individual with those shoulder pull like with those pauldrons they just seem that much more taller um red black uh burning eyes and i don't know what the terminology is like you know how shirt collars you can pop them up yeah. and then this is very much endeavor um from my her academia <laughs> so like he's got like his shirt collar popped up but there's flames coming from it um and he's got flames on like his wrists and coming out of like where the tassels would be on the pauldrons okay what's his name would yali recognize him yeah uh his name is typhlosion Ty um that's a ah, pokemon, <laughs> yeah, that's a pokemon. <laughs> General Typhlosion. General Typhlosion. Have you been playing Arceus? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, but I thought that was like a me thinking a, a starter Pokemon is niche. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. It's like I when you play it. Crab Brawler on Transplaner. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Yali sees this like through the whirling wind, all the little bolts of flame that like Dechen is very like I think studiously and like meticulously keeping away from us and I just shout over like the roaring gale that's general typhlosion he's <laughs> <laughs> what do I know about his reputation can I just make stuff up about him or do you have a yes. specific like no 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 go for it he's extremely <sighs> dangerous a deadly hand-to-hand -hand combatant we <sighs> even my father's a little scared of him uh, and Yali is gonna fuck it, but like backflip, like off of Razor Wing and like land, like Avengers style, like on top of the tank and say up to you, Azu, if he comes close, you think you can keep me safe? As I like molten flame hands on and I try to cut through like the steel of the tank. Yeah, um, that's gonna be evade easy. and observe because my specialty technique is to break which is target a foe's vulnerable equipment. I assume the tank counts yeah. uh, and render it useless or broken. Heck yeah, <laughs> break it. That is very cool. Yeah. Um, My interpretation yeah. of that is just to like cut open a circle in the, in the roof and get Coral out. Perfect. Um, General Typhlosion is going to react. Now I'm trying... Connie, I might... Okay, so hear me out. I know this oh is supposed to be turn-based, but like the order of the way I'm trying to imagine it is like you're doing this action, but because it's a wait and listen, do we resolve the defend and retreat and the advance and attacks first, still no matter what? Uh, yeah, those moves basically get the roll first, so I would yeah. go last okay. in like the turn order. So if Azu were to advance and attack, then Azu would go first. I... Okay, Azu, what are Azu you doing? Wants to... I don't know what this would be, but I have a skill um, called stand and fight. Um, when you provoke an NPC opponent into attacking you, roll with passion. On a hit, they're coming at you specifically. On a 10+, plus, you're ready for them, clear condition, 
uh, or become prepared on a miss. They take advantage of your provocation, strike a blow where you least expect it. So I want to provoke Typhlosion. So yes. And I just want to yell over the wind and over that, I guess, the roaring flame of Yali's um, hand, just go, Typhlosion, I heard you create hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I want to, like, um, raise my fist and I would like the water skin, um, just like the water wrapped around my fist and turn it's like almost like icy knuckle dusters yes. and just go, let's test it out. Um, I want to provoke them. Yes. I okay. don't know what that um, would be though. Uh, so it's a move, but doesn't quite fit the um, combat approaches. I would just roll passion. Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, that is max die. And I think I've got plus what? two for. Yeah, I do. So that's 14. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Hell yeah. So on a, the game so nice. on a 10 plus, I get to clear a condition, which I don't have. Um, or, or I become prepared. Um, I've seen as a status. I don't know what that means. So. You know, that is a good question. Um, it's a question that I would love to be able to answer, but... I can look it up real quick. I can just scroll through and look it up. I'm a fan quick. of Control F. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, actually, yeah. It doesn't seem to be a formal status. Um, yeah. I suppose it's mostly just na fictional or narrative positioning. Uh, it, it is a f status uh, oh. on the second column of statuses. It's at the oh. bottom prepared. Um, so I can. What a pa page is that on? On <laughs> the quick search? Uh, uh, quick search. Oh, I'm not even looking. At, I'm not looking at the quick search. I'm looking at the character mm. sheet, the Excel oh. character sheet. Mm. Um, but I'm just oh, for... what? Yeah. Phew. Underneath, Bless um, you. yeah, Thank statuses. You. Oh, Doomed, impaired, new. trapped, stunned, empowered, favored, inspired, and prepared. Very cool. Okay. I'll look for it. You keep going, but I'll look for what it means. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, so in this time, um, Typhlosion is going to... I mean, like, oh my god. Oh, let me think of a voice for Typhlosion. It's going to be <laughs> deep and angry. Yeah. Child! You dare challenge me? Master of hand-to-hand -hand combat? Huh. I'm going to beat you to a pulp. Why does he sound like Bob? No! <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> <laughs> eating boy. Die, He's Harry Oak. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, there's some crossover here, and I'm I'm really enjoying it. Can't wait for the Pokemon My Academia crossover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Okay, well, he has to advance to season new position um, to get close to you for hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I think we're going to resolve this entire situation um, pending your prepared status still. Um, yeah. As you now have his focus, he is not focused on Yali, and he is moving in on you to attack. Okay. All right, Yali. Should I roll to evade and observe? Yes, please. Okay. That is creativity or harmony. Oh my god, my harmony is so low. So I'm going to roll the creativity. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, that was a one. Big money. Big money. Oh, Big dear. money. That was a two. Girl. Oh. Okay. Uh, th three plus one. That's a fun four. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm getting my just desserts. <laughs> I'm getting my just desserts. Uh, can I? It says on a hit. I, on a miss, I get to, I stumble, but I can shift my balance away from center to use one basic technique. I'm going to do okay. that. Uh, I'm going to shift closer to progress and farther away from tradition. Uh, nice. Feels oof, right. I'm close to losing my balance. Uh, and that's going to be, oh my God. Okay. I have to use a basic this technique. Uh, mark one fatigue to question a foe as you fight with them. You know what? You know what? Uh, I'm... 
I'm gonna do that. Uh, to help out Azu, uh, as Flamebeard approaches, I'm gonna like my. I'm doing my best to cut through the metal, but it's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, mm -hmm. And like, like sparks are flying up like into my face, and I'm ugh, gritting my teeth against it. Uh, it's sort of like uh being in a smithy without like a, a face shield on. Yeah. And I'm like ugh, groaning, and I look up and I see Azu like like with those like ice gauntlets on, like ready to fight. And I just want to shout over the roaring wind, um, General Typhlosion. Why are you doing this? You have to know exactly the kinds of horrors you're signing up to. Boiling children's brains? That's not you. You're a protector of the people. Don't you care about the Fire Nation? What you're doing here is wrong. Why are you doing this? Uh, and I'm marking one fatigue to ask what their principle is, and they have to answer honestly. Ooh. 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 That was beautiful. Um... There's a moment of hesitation as Typhlosion uh, approaches Azu and the flames that were kind of around his, his, his collar, uh, around his wrist, around his ankles, um, they turn to like this like silvery flame and he, he looks down like downcast eyes uh, almost guiltily and then he glances up and meets your eyes, Azu. <sighs> My duty is to the capital. It is to the Fire Nation. I am doing what I've been told. I... I've been doing what I've been told my entire life. And all I know is that if I keep doing that, then I'm never going to live a kind of life that I can look back on when I'm old with pride and honor. He hesitates. Inside of this tank, Coral, oh my god, it is... They're screaming. Uh, uh, you felt the ground <laughs> shake around you. Um, up, like the the driver is just screaming obscenities, like like road rage to the max. Um, and you can start to feel a certain section of the this like metallic wall vibrating, um, like somebody's trying to access from the in outside in. I'd know those vibrations anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> They're good vibrations. <laughs> I'm picking up good vibrations. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a cue that this is a rescue of some kind. Uh, I don't feel like I know my new siblings super well, but I'm uh, I'm very optimistic about humanity in general. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'll just believe that, and then uh, to do my part, I'm gonna try and uh, sucker punch the driver while he's distracted by everything else. So if I could roll with assistance from either Yali or um, Dechen for uh, pushing the tank into the ground in the first place with the pig. Um, I can definitely try my best. I Basically, what I would want to do is I, I look at Razorwing and I just tell him to <clears throat> jump. And so he's going to jump and then just like, use all of his force to just go boom, and like try to drive the tank into the ground nice also i found it uh i oh, think that yes. it was changed but instead of prepared it says i can just take away two fatigue which is very helpful because i had exactly two fatigue after the headbutt nice. previously so <laughs> okay thank you for looking into that I constantly, I gotta utilize those statuses this session. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're getting but, that lucky roll or the the help roll. Um, I was gonna, I don't know which which one you want to do first, but I was gonna do advance and attack. Um, and I've mastered disorient, so I'm kind of just gonna Ooh. go in and try and um punch him so fast he gets he gets confused. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Yeah, I'll take that. That's fantastic. Not too mad. Let's see if you succeed. If you succeed first, and then we'll see if uh, Dechen needs to help. Oh my god, I rolled numbers. Um, a and then advance and attack. What do I add to that? Passion. Uh, so I got a nine. Yeah. <laughs> um, help would make that a ten. Ooh. I would assume just like somebody's helping me distract him. And if I'm trying to disorient him anyway, any sort of noise or action outside of that is assisting. So yeah, that okay. would be my read of it, but I, I leave it to you. I'm, I'm happy to try to help. I'm also screaming. 
<laughs> I <laughs> also just the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> by the by, these walls are thick. Okay, that's <laughs> a good point. Uh, what do I roll in order to help um, Coral? Uh, help comes with. Oh, you just mark a fatigue. Okay, I don't mind marking. I do. Or. When you take the appropriate action to help uh, help a companion, mark a fatigue to give them a plus one to the roll after the roll. So Dutchin would mark a fatigue. I'm at two out of five fatigue. Technically, technically, we cannot help in combat this way. <clears throat> okay. But like, I think it's fun. <laughs> so just, you know, if you're here to really play Avatar Legends RPG by the rules... <laughs> Sorry. You've come to an adequate place, but like <laughs> we're we're here for the rule of cool. Yeah, rules are guidelines and suggestions. I just, you know, you take it and you work with it because like this is a fantastic game with a really cool system. But sometimes I just want to see small children beat up adults and to Pokemon. Stop and, and Pokemon. Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for a lot. Um, all right, so you just like rapid punch this this tank driver. Yeah, maybe maybe to like spice it up a little bit. Um, some of maybe the inside of the tank has been like patched with like a thinner metal, and I metal bin that around my knuckles. Yes, get all the knuckles. I want to kill this man. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> You just open up the tank into a can of murder. <laughs> like, oh, oh maybe we should. Maybe it wasn't a good idea. Let's just leave her in. <laughs> the Let's just, you open oh. it. You just open it. It's just fit completely covered in blood. It looks and like it just a close it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, you are still wearing cuffs um, that prevent bending, but oh, you can right, still right, beat right. this man to yes. his pulp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I'll just get into it with the classic addition of my fists. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check what a. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Also, your feet are still free. You could also just roundhouse kick them and around it, around the side of the head. Yeah, I'm gonna give him one to the groin for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a bop bop. I'm gonna head bash him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come at him at all angles. Yeah, do you <laughs> have just um... run to kill really quick? <laughs> <laughs> um, fortunately. Um, yeah, we're just gonna handle this. So, what does it look like as you completely discombobulate this individual? Yeah, I think I'm just trying to use all my body parts and even the um, that since the space is so small, like pushing them or like you know, punching them or shoving them into like walls of the tank, like just like totally trying to um, disorient like what's up and down and uh while also just like pummeling the crap out of them okay um and then i, I can like... mark a fatigue and it'll shift their balance away from center as well oh that's lovely um this person has like little little uh birds spitting above their head and they are <laughs> plenty unconscious um, um, i'm sorry birds not just birds, so like turtle ducks or something, yeah? Right. Thank you. I'm like, what combo? Turtle ducks. Yeah. Ferret, ferret robin. Ferret chicken, robin. chicken turtles. Ch ch chicken, chicken lizard. Squirtles. Chicken lizard. Because we're bringing chicken Pokemon lizards. This. Um. <laughs> uh, it's just a pigeon. Um, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> The crossover, it's happening. It's, oof, we went in. Um, yeah, so, like, that man is knocked out, and Bagel has to kind of pull you aside. Like, okay, 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 that was, that was terrifying. Um, <laughs> I, I, Coral, Coral, <laughs> we are going to get out of here. Um, I, I learned me a trick back in my cabbage days. Um, aren't you your, just... aren't your, isn't your current days cabbage days? Yeah, it's the, there were the cabbage days, and then there were the cabbage days. <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking about the cabbage oh, days. Okay, I'm clear on the situation now. Good, Thank you for good. good. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to clear this up. But if you could just put out, I think I think I can I can take off your handcuffs. Uh, it just might you might feel a little bit of a pinch. Why didn't you do this before? <laughs> well, I kind of forgot that I could do it, and. uh... 
while I saw you beating the living shit out of that individual <laughs> up there, I thought to myself, how can I help in this situation? And well, the conclusion I came up to was removing the handcuffs. Uh, well, at least you got there eventually. That's what's important, Bagel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do you extend your hands? Oh my god, is he gonna kill me? Why'd you say oh. it like that, V? I don't know. <laughs> do you do it? V is the DM in me. It's just sometimes like, um, so. Yes, yes, of course. They do. Okay. Uh, yes. It's like when you ask it, when you say there's a hole that a human could fit in. Mm -hmm. Oh, a hole that was made just for you. <laughs> it's oh, YouTube. God. This is my <laughs> hole. <laughs> It's made for me. This is a very this is a horror series again. This yeah, is a horror okay. series. We're, we're doing that thing. Okay, so um, the, you feel like a bit of a pinch on your on your on your uh, wrists, and then those uh, handcuffs clank to the ground. And you notice that Bagel's already got his removed. We're unsure how long they've been gone. How did you do that, Bagel? Oh, I did it when we were dancing. No, not when. How? Oh, whoa. I had some cabbage in my teeth, and when it's been in there long enough, you could pull it out, and it's kind of calcified, and then I could use that as a pick. But you gotta be careful, because it does break sometimes, and I don't like to tell people, because it's like, why don't you brush your teeth, bagel? And it's just like, I don't know, I thought the cabbage could help. So, just to be clear, mm -hmm. we were saved by your lack of hygiene. Sounds about right. Great. Never change, big. <laughs> and I think at that point, Coral's gonna like look up where it sounds like uh, the. You the see top some sparks like flying open. like in like shh, mm -hmm. through in like a circular pattern, but it has hasn't cut through completely yet. Coral throws on her welding mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the outside, how's everybody looking? Well, I'm going I'm... for an attack if that's uh... <laughs> go for it. I'm just uh... I'm just whirling around with my wind dancing. Okay, so Dechen, you are defending. Yes. Uh, Azu, you want to attack, and Yali, you are still breaking in. Uh, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> First basing out. Yes, I am. Uh, I did. I did roll a a miss, so I don't know how successful I will be, but I can try again. I can keep trying. I can continue to persevere. Okay, we are just at the top of the order, so we're going to go down uh, the combat approaches. So with our defend and retreat. Um, Dachan, give me a uh, 2d6 with your focus. Okay. Um, um, yeah, they are just striking at you. That is a 9. Fabulous. Um, that's 10. Um, which means they can do two things. Uh, I'm gonna have the soldiers. We're using like minion rules that I've made up in my mind. Don't mind that. Um, they have a shared fatigue pool, so I'm gonna have them mark a fatigue to get through your. Um, can I your take a wall? fatigue? Are are they? Um, how many of them are trying to get through the wall? Two of them. I am willing to take up to four fatigue. I'll accept that if you want to continue to block. Yeah, I'm going to continue to block. Oof. So what does this look like? Because things are getting dire. You're getting tired. This is hard to maintain. It is hard. I think Dechen is like, at first she was doing her swirling and twirling and Stevie Nicks um, dancing with the shawl. But as uh, more and more of as the firebenders i think figure out that their initial attacks aren't working they're starting to use more sustained fire attacks mm -hmm. and that is definitely getting to dechen and so dechen is um basically trying to whip the wind faster and faster um just to keep blowing out that flame and it is a lot it's a lot okay. razor wing is kind of nudging her and trying to keep her on her feet <laughs> the heat is definitely getting to you like you can like you've got like sweat dripping down um everything's a little bit more uncomfortable and the air itself is starting to feel thick but you persist you are able to keep up your defenses and your allies are protected from the outside fire nation soldiers 
um, Drac, your approach was to a attack, correct? Yeah. Yeah, because he is. Okay. Yeah, we got he two just attacks. Blood. Blood. <laughs> uh, so that's a 10. Ooh, beautiful. So um, let me let me let me do combat properly for like a hot second. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with a ten plus, you can pick um, from the list like an additional move with your attack. So you can do a basic attack, um, but you could also mark fatigue to to use a learned technique. Um, you can choose a practiced technique or choose basic. Uh, choose two basic or master techniques. Um. I'm and a technique to... is just like a move that has an effect. Okay. Uh, so that could be like a like just a normal move, or it could be like a specialty technique. Hold on. Uh, yeah, like a specialty technique. Okay. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to use my specialty specialty technique, overwhelm, um, where I throw a punch with all my weight, and. Uh, mark up to three fatigue or conditions in any combination to force your opponent Ooh. to mark the same number of conditions. But not oh my god. Um, so I'm going to... Um, you just see he makes these like ice-like ice, ice -like fists and starts charging towards Typhlosion. And he's going to... He jumps as if he's going to punch and just drops his arms and headbutts Typhlosion. Yes! Square in the, <laughs> square in the nose. <laughs> um, and I'm going to take um oh angry um <laughs> so oh, many negative foolish. effects with this oh my goodness angry foolish and one fatigue um, okay and i'm sorry typhlosion has to mark how many fatigue uh they don't take fatigue they have to mark conditions oh okay so they have to mark two conditions just to be the same amount of conditions that i have marked Okay, I'm sorry. You did angry and I did angry and foolish. Thank you. Um, Oof. And okay. I guess you do two things, right? Yep. It's Can like I if overwhelm you're again? Uh, you have the conditions for it, technically, and the fatigue <laughs> to mark. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, he's gonna. So in the head, we headbutts um, Typhlosion. As he lands, he just up. He just goes for the groin. He just punches Typhlosion in in the groin, um, full force. And I'm going to mark. This poor, poor man. <laughs> I'm going to mark two more. Oh, oh my hmm. goodness. I'm going to mark one more fatigue. Okay. And. Two more conditions, guilty and insecure. <laughs> Do you have all of them marked at this point? Nope, I have afraid left. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, that's okay. going to be the end of it. As I just... Now, the thing that I have to double check is... Like, I, you have to be doing fatigue as well with this kind of a move. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mark up to three fatigue or conditions in any combination. So I have to mark three things. It can either be all fatigue or conditions or a mixture of both. But it has to be equal up to three. Okay. Um, so, okay. Yeah. Um, and actually, now I think I can technically choose less than that, um, but three is the maximum. Uh, but yeah. And then the uh, opponent has to mark that many conditions, but not fatigue. Okay. Typhlosion reels. First, there's the hit to the head where his head kind of like whiplashes back. And then there's, is it the kick to a, to his groin? Nope. Icy punch. His fist is, fist is covered in like, punch. his fist is covered in like frozen water and just slams it into his groin. Okay. Um, he drops. Um, he is, he's embarrassed. He's feeling insecure about this. The guilt of not being responsible. He just got kicked in the gonads by a child. Do you know what his soldiers are going to look at him like? That's his toxic masculinity cannot handle that. There is no way. As he looks to the the fallen um, general and at the other soldiers and goes, see how your general has fallen before me. As he, <laughs> he's, he's like foaming in the mouth like he's into it. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Is this a, your villain origin story where you go, 
<laughs> You're too far past the line, Ozzy. You gotta come back. <laughs> There's no coming back. Um. Okay, well, he was going to attack, so that is what he's going to do no matter what. Yeah, um, fair. I'm probably going to be knocked out after this. You are in luck. Uh, I rolled a four and a one. Uh, I can add one for his passion. Four, five, six. That makes six. Ooh, okay, that's a close one. That's just a miss. That's so disappointing. Um... Can he mark a fatigue to use a basic technique? <laughs> that's what I think is going to happen. He's got the fatigue. God damn it. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Sorry for bringing it up, Drac. No, that's fair. I want to see did, this dude. I did punch him in the balls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, B, when you have a minute, I think we have a toast. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I'm double checking something. Could we have two, actually. Oh. Ooh, Would yeah. y'all be so kind as to read some of the toasts? Yeah. Oh, that's where they're at. They're in the document, the place that I don't look. Uh, <laughs> Dom, I appreciate the first one. you. Okay. DJ Regular says, thanks to Van and Michelle for inadvertently creating the name of my next long-running TTRPG's big bad, The Nipple Monster. <laughs> oh, no. Also, thanks to all of you for playing a wonderful game. P.S. Here's Razor Wings Extra 3. They have discretion they have discretion on where they put them. So Razor Wing gets to decide where, where the nipples go. Oh, yes. um, <laughs> Thank you, DJ. I mean, there's there's just the three in the normal places, I think. They're hard to find. <laughs> They're hard to find because he's got really thick fur. But yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, pigs three and bulls have like a bunch places. of... Pigs have a bunch, do of, have nipples, a bunch right? of nipples. Oh, they have a yeah. bunch of nipples. I would say... Ten? I think. Did you like, say Ten. Eight. No, I guess no animal. Fixed. I think only cats have ten nipples. Cats ten? have no, cats, cats have ten nipples. No, no. Here's the thing about cats. Cats have an inconsistent number of nipples. There's not oh, really. Yeah, cats do not. I'm, I'm always... going to get on a list for this, but how anyway, many so nipples Motro says, um... <laughs> "How many nipples does a cat have?" It says eight Motro nipples. Motro says, "Happy Lunar, Happy Lunar New Year." See, um, it says, "Happy Lunar New Year to you, Motro." Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. On average, most cats have six to eight, but some of them have more and some of them have less. Oh, Why am I about to count my cat's nipples? He's right there. <laughs> I'm looking at him so suspiciously. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh my I figured God. it out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I figured out my nipple secret. <laughs> so sorry, B. No, this gave me time to read. So that's perfect. Um, <laughs> cats have ten nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Sent you on a, a little a little <laughs> pathway. Um, yeah, I think a column of flames erupts from the spot where General Typhlosion fell. Um, and Azu, just mark one fatigue. <laughs> oh, one fatigue. Oh, well, okay. okay, hold on. Um, I because I didn't succeed. All right, Captain Connie, I have to refer yes. to your expertise. <laughs> You've played this of more course. than once, which I appreciate. How, like a basic attack should just be fatigue, yes. right? Uh, you okay. can to use a basic technique. So if you're using strike, uh, all the basic techniques are under combat approaches to the right of the combat sheet. So if you use strike, then he can mark one fatigue to inflict a condition on Ozzy yes. if he has enough fatigue uh, okay. to mark. Thank you. I didn't read the full sentence. I appreciate mm-hmm. people who read. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you got any conditions left to mark? Yeah, I do. Go I'm ahead and mark it. Afraid. Huh. Mark this. Fear of the flames. Full... <laughs> you got a full dance card now, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Which I feel like means something that is to be determined think... in a moment. I think if I take one more, I'm out. Right? Yeah. So I still I'm still up and at it, but barely (laughs) Mm -hmm. perfect all right and then uh, to end off this turn uh yali let's see if you can push your way through (laughs) yeah evade and observe come on i just need a i just need a hit i just need a seven or more the four okay that's promising i have a plus one 
That's a three. That's an eight. Yes. Oh, it works. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I bust, I bust open this the, the roof of this truck. I'm using my special technique, which is uh, to target a foe's vulnerable equipment. I assume this tank is vulnerable because of all the extenuating circumstances. And Yali's just going to like dig their molten fingers. Like they finally break through the steel, right? And Coral from inside, you just see like these like glowing red hot fingers. And then like cut open like a circle. Uh, like a glowing like crimson radius like a, a lunar moon and then like the the it's punched through like they punch it down and poof, like it hits the bottom of the tank and you just sort of see like smoke coming off of like the molten edges uh and lava sloughing off a little bit and Yali like peers in uh and sees you coral uh i think there's like a, a moment too where if since it just like came straight down and coral was underneath that it almost like hits her in the face but she uses her bending to like catch it like a yes. pizza. <laughs> so you're looking down at like the hovering of uh, metal, and then Coral goes, "Oh hey, Yali, <laughs> we're, we're here to bust you out of here. Come come on." Uh yeah, thanks. Um and whoa, she'll whoa take is that one... a corpse in there with you? No, that's and they're looking that's at bagel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing. I'm playing dead. Is it working? <laughs> Bagel, get oh. up. These are my siblings. Oh, there's more of you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that okay, is. I, we're going to yeah, talk about I guess, that. But... I guess he can come with us, too. Come on, we have to go. Azu's holding off General Typhlosion, but barely. All right. Uh, so I think Coral's instinct is to turn around and, like, grab Bagel, who I imagine is weighs nothing <laughs> frail and okay, yeah. hollow bone oh, good and i hope he weighs nothing just, because just hoist yeah <laughs> up to yali yeah yali just picks him up like he's nothing <laughs> yali's just gonna, uh-huh yali's not even that strong they like like hoist this desiccated corpse like on top of like razor wings back uh, and like leans in to, like help you out like flame off for their hands right like helps yeah, yeah. you out of out of the tank and they like like pat uh uh uh, raise a ring on the side and they shout over the, the gale force wind. Dechen, we've got coral. Come on. Uh, Dechen at this point is like on one knee, just like trying to keep this thing going. And then when she realizes that it's uh, when Yali like touches her on the shoulder, she's like, okay. And then she, uh, hurry, everybody get on. And so everybody needs to get on razor ring before I could get a razor ring because then I changed the bending. So everyone yeah, gets on. Yes. Um, oh, this I... is gonna keep fighting. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I had a feeling. Yeah. I had a feeling. Come on, grab yep. that boy. Yeah. <laughs> I have I... this pent up anger from the rat mom. Like I, I turn <laughs> and like I am so tired. I have four exhaustion. I've, I have four fatigue, and I as as I like see my siblings get on. I don't see Azu, and I turn. And I see Azu, and like the fight's already won. And so what I do is I like. Um, condense, I start moving the air in, and it like pushes Azu away. <laughs> Eventually, it just becomes like one <laughs> big wind that just pushes Azu away and like flat against Razor Wing. And I think Coral just reaches down and grabs him by the collar and gangs <laughs> him up on Razor Wing. Let's see how successful this is, Dutch. Okay. Give me a uh, just a simple use your um, your skills and training because like you know how to do this. This is just classic bending. But okay. Azu is fighting against you. All right. Um, I'm I'm using what focus? Uh, this is going to be a focus, correct? Okay. Uh, that's. I'm really tired. It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Can uh... Coral and Yali help to bring that up to a seven? Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah, if you'd like. Yeah, because Yali's gonna be shouting and like you know bending like yeah. like shooting like blades of fire out to like like cover us as we're like trying to get away. We so take I'll mark fatigue. one fatigue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Coral, how are I you? I marked one, too. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm yanking. <laughs> what what okay, of her it's like, is, like, is it like is... metal on Azu? <laughs> like, you just call the metal to you. Are you wearing I a belt? Have, like, <laughs> I have earrings. Don't put them oh, my wow. earrings. No, <laughs> it's uh, not that kind of fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I have any metal. Probably on my belt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if 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 you've got a, uh, like a metal um, buckle... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she will definitely just yank on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
It I'm was literally about oh! to like so throw this, a punch. I'm about so to this throw wind, one more punch this at. wind, it's like strong, but it's not strong enough to deter you. You just battle mad, like. And, and wow, I'm just yeah. about to throw a punch at Typhlosion, just the the final blow, and then I get pulled away, and once more, Alzi's been <laughs> very upset with I could have taken him. Look, yeah. Amy's basically knocked it underground. Just uh, can I throw? <laughs> Do tell. I would like. So my fists had been um, covered in um, ice and also just keep a water skin on me because yeah. I can't produce my water. So I was always bring with me. I would like to throw like just an ice ball at the heads of um, Typhlosion as we're leaving. Is that Absolutely. a thing? Absolutely. Give me a roll of focus and we'll see if your skills and training can you know, can uh, help you out in something like this. You throw a lot of snowballs Ooh. in your childhood. Yeah, I mean, I probably threw, threw a lot of rocks at people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little different, ice, but... I, ice is like a rock. It's just made of water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled really well, but I have all of my conditions marked. Um, so... Yeah, it's oh, a yes. negative two for negative whatever two. you're rolling for. Mm -hmm. And I already have a minus one in focus, so the minus three. So that's a nine. Whoa, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, everything's against you. Great. Still succeed. I hate it here. <laughs> so, yeah, so what is nine. this? No, sorry, eight. Eight. Okay. Sorry, five, no. Give so... me a good visual. Is it just like a classic snowball? Is it like, does um... it look like, like a COVID protein spike? Like with all the little bits on the end? Is it like <laughs> oh my an God. icicle? <laughs> COVID protein spike. Here's what I learned in biology class um <laughs> no i think okay so i think at first he had put um like ice knuckle dusters on to like punch um typhlosion and then um, typhlosion like blasted him with fire right it was like a column so, of flames yeah yeah so it kind of like pretty quick probably really quickly melted the knuckle the knuckle dusters on his fist so you just see a, like, a pot of water by typhlosion and as he's as the game pulled away um Ozzy just pushes a hand out forward and you just see the, the pot of water that um that got melted and just turn into like a fist and punch um <laughs> punch typhlosion in the face. Uh yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll take a fatigue. I'll take a fatigue to give them condition, right? As a strike. Um it's either accept the consequences or mark a fatigue for this. And oh, okay. I think I would like you to mark a fatigue because like what are the consequences yeah. of punching from a distance? <laughs> It's nothing but benefits. Exactly. Even though I would have liked to do it up close, but whatever. Small sacrifices to get away <laughs> safely with all of your siblings on board. Now, you've, you've all been reunited, and there is this, like, wizened old man that smells kind of like cabbage, cabbage. soup. Yeah. I am just so tired. I am... I am like flying and normally Dechen is like very excited and like kind and really stoked to like meet her new sibling. And I De De is just so tired that all she does is turn around and say, Hi, it's great to see you again. Like shoves a cupcake in your hand, Coral, and it just turns around and leans against Razor uh, Razor Wing. She's like, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think Coral takes the the cupcake and then looks around, and you can see she's like blinking back tears, and she just tries to scoop as many people as she can into a <laughs> into a group hug. And she was like, "I was so scared." Oh, we were so scared for you too. Oh, Coral, it's so good to see you. Did they? Is your brain okay? Did they try to boil oh your brain? Oh my god, is your brain okay? I was gonna. Grab I think your it's face. okay. Ask me a question. <laughs> Um, what, what is three what? times 18? What? Three times 18. <laughs> no one can answer that. <laughs> no, no one can do that. Okay. Um, three times six. 18. I think, I think that's okay. That is eight. It is 18, right? I wasn't actually sure. It's 18? Yes. Yes. Th okay. That is correct. Yeah. 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 Great. <sighs> I don't Who's... know about Bagel though. His brain might be boiled. Yeah, who is Ooh, that? Bagel? Coral. Why does he smell so bad? I try to like bend a breeze around, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, around him, so we don't have here. to. We don't have to smell him. The I picture he's smell. wearing a robe and he doesn't have anything on. Him. Oh, oh no! no, no, no. Oh, 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 o
are your underwear? I was getting some good air there. I do not have underwear. I have been in Who prison for man? ages. This is Why so do I need underwear? <laughs> this is an old criminal? Coral? Hey, I was in prison too. Do you assume I'm a criminal? Well, Wait, he's, you're not he a criminal? said he's been in prison for ages. But the, Listen, what did the fire nation lock you up for? For selling too many cabbages. <laughs> oh. That can't be You're right. not like a murderer or anything? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just like illegal, you know, cabbages on the black market. I, uh, it's really best not to delve too deeply into Bagel's okay. um, cabbage history. It's very long. and Is, is he a bender? Can he fight? Can he help us? Um, I think he is, but he forgets. <laughs> uh, you, what? you can How? talk to me to my face. I'm... I promise I'm not that scary. I'm just surrounded by so many short humans. I feel like I'm a giant. What, yeah, we're just, called children. You just call me. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm average children. height. Children. I take out a cookie and I'm like, "Would you like a cookie?" What would I? Huh? Uh, and he eats it in one bite. Oh. Just oh, eats no. it from my hand. Just eats <laughs> it from my hand. <laughs> it's just cool. like, oh. Don't oh, forget to chew. Bagel. Are we? Are we gonna? No, no, keep no, no, this? no, 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 no! I just like punch him in the back. <laughs> like, oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, oh. I, eating I, cookies I, on top of the flying animals is harder than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we keeping? Are we keeping him? Well, he's not a pet, Azu. So we're not keeping him. Should well, we we're... drop him off somewhere? Well, we gotta put him somewhere safe. We can't just leave him here. Yeah. Of course, of he, course, of course. He's, a, he's complicit in whatever we're doing right now, whether he right. likes it Good or not. Point. Bagel, do you have a family? Is there anywhere we can drop you off? Oh no, I lost my family a long time ago. I do have a friend, though. I was kind of looking forward to seeing him in jail when I got transferred over. Um, I guess I could try and break him out. Oof. You were okay. Where's he imprisoned? Um. In the royal palace, but like under, like well, there's catacombs and then there's prison and then there's like scary prison. What's his name? Oh, let me think. Oh, does he look like Ben Gibbard? <laughs> 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 but with Zoe Deschanel's hair. <laughs> um, he's another one of you small people. What do you call it? Young adults, a child. Yeah, and then, You're like two friends weeks with ago, a, okay. well, he was part of the reason I got caught for cabbages. I thought he was helping me out with the black market, but turns out he was doing some pretty bad research. He thought that, um, well, he was really into brain boiling, and I'm like, why are children into huh? brain boiling? I just want to boil what is happening. Um, at this point, Dechen has zoned out and is like eating some pudding from a little ceramic cup. <laughs> Oh, to try and yeah, really at the hospital right now. <laughs> yeah, like, Yali clocks this, uh, and you know, squeezes Coral's like like shoulder one last time, and is like, "It's good to see you again." Um, and turns and I think like shuffles over to Dechen, uh, while while this man's trying to remember this <laughs> brain boiling child's friend like name, uh, and is gonna like like scoot over to Dechen and say, "Hey, thanks." for oh, what yeah. you did down there uh, without you we all would have been captured by the fire nation or worse oh so, yeah thanks not of course you're my friends i would do anything for you <sighs> i just want you to know that you don't have to uh I, I appreciate that you do but i mean we hardly know each other and i guess i just want to say i'm grateful that you're here or something uh, and I'm trying to instigate the comfort or support move, so you can I remove was just some typing that out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that enough to instigate it? Can I roll? I think so. Or should I say more? Okay. I mean, well, coming um, from Yali, that's pretty powerful. That's a lot coming from Yali. Yeah. Or whatever. I have a minus one horror <laughs> money. <laughs> so let's see. That's a six. Okay. Oh. That, box cars. Box cars. Oh yeah. So that's that's an eleven. <laughs> We're nice. best friends. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. How um, much fatigue do I clear from such an amazing role? To get the clear two. two. If <gasps> if you decide to open up to me, yeah. Uh, 
I get to ask you any question and you, because I got an 11, you get to ask me a question too. And anyone who answers can choose to clear condition or to fatigue. Um, I, I guess that is, <laughs> is like, <laughs> I guess the is very, I, I'm working on it. Hold on. <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> I don't know, Michelle, go on. Uh, Dechen is just looks, uh, just looks like happy and says, um, you're welcome. You know, it's, this is honestly the most adventure anyone in my order has ever been in, on for a really long time. And I guess we've just never really been the type to do all this sort of stuff. What about you? Do you, do you feel like? I know this is really different for you too. So, like, how are you feeling? I grew up in a gilded cage in the royal palace. I had every luxury a child could want delicious food, servants at my beck and call, beautiful training grounds, gardens, lavish parties to attend, but I never had a friend. Uh, so, this is new uh, for me. And, um, Dechen, I, I know that my family has done horrible things to the world around us and, you know, to sacred sites that your order has tried to venerate. But even so, do you think, do you think they'd accept me if I wanted to visit? Oh, at this point, <laughs> Dechen just sort of puts down her pudding and says, "We, it would be an honor to have you any time. And... Oh my goodness, we could do a celebration dance. Do you want me to teach you the celebration dance? It's really, really, really fun. Maybe when we're not on this, maybe when we're not yeah, flying around. Yes. But yeah, I would love to teach you the celebration dance. Uh, you know what? Let's save that for when we're not on Razor Wing uh, and also have resolved this whole situation with oh, our yeah. father and the brain boiling. That's uh, right. You know, it's so weird. I never really think of our dad as like a person, you know? He's always, and I feel like that's a weird thing to say, but he's always just kind of been, and I take out the drawing, <laughs> I made mean, like a stick figure. You have like, it on you. <laughs> I have it on me, right? Because, well, I'm searching for him, right? So I have it on have me. Have you like, seen this man? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good reference. Well, I thought he looked like this, and I show it to all of y'all, and I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> oh. I mean, do you want to draw on it? You can add what you think is he looks like. I just give y'all a pen. Y'all just start like <laughs> collaborating. Sure, actually. And I think Yelly has taken like formal art classes <laughs> from like the Fire Nation. It's like best. And I'm like, I'm just gonna add some. And I like draw <laughs> over them. Oh no, to, no like no. do like and, a form. Like, Dejan like... is not like offended at all. This is something she made when she was so young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's it's got sentimental value. So Yali will flip it over and I'll draw over it. So like and just like start sketching a I think like an actually like gorgeous portrait of like some like man yeah. with like shaggy hair, right? Uh well thanks for being here, Dutchin. Well thank you. This is gonna be so much fun once we're done. Oh, I feel so much better. Ah, oh, Azu, how are you? You keep fighting people. <laughs> Even when you shouldn't be fighting people. Karu was gonna. <laughs> well, I was gonna say what. So what mechanically happens for the two of you after having the? We we get to clear two fatigue or a condition. I'm choosing my fatigue. I'm so choosing my I'm fatigue as well. Okay. Okay. I got yeah. two. Cool. That's awesome. Um. Yeah. I think uh, hearing Da Chen kind of jump on Azu. Uh, I think I think Coral was already clocking that. Like I almost picture Azu is like vibrating. Yeah, just like <laughs> like throwing fear, foolishness. Like, it's just, <laughs> just all <laughs> thrumming through him violently. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I it's think... definitely like a trickle of blood from the wound. Yeah, from the head, just right? vibrating. Coral was already like, um... <laughs> <laughs> and then Jen is like, "You've been fighting a lot," and then Coral's like, "Oh, okay, yes, it's all." <laughs> coming together and um and and she you know she recalls that she had to like pull him away from the fight as well um and uh and i think she just she pushed uh, puts both her hands on his sh on his uh their shoulders and like looks in their eyes and is like what's going on buddy <laughs> i took down typhlosion 
I took down Untapped Ocean. Oh, good job. That's impressive. That was yeah. a grown man. Yeah. With military status. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. But he's gone now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're just here. Safe, right? Yeah. Aren't we? Don't you feel safe right now? No. Okay. Well, let's talk about that. Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, um, I just took down Typhlosion. Okay, we've covered that. <laughs> yeah, but also everyone saw all the soldiers saw me take down Typhlosion. I mean. We were far away and we were obscured by Dechen's winds. And, you know, if anything, I think the flying boar is more of a giveaway, but, you know, we could hide Razor Wing <laughs> for a while. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I, I was really worried about you. Um, I'm glad you're back now, but now I'm not sure how I'm going to be useful because I'm only really good at taking down people. So in the past, when you felt like this, what has helped you to calm down? Um, Made you feel safe again? He kind of like stares for a moment and looks away and just goes, um, I sometimes rest my head on my sister's lap and she kind of sings for me. What does she sing? Um, I know a, a lot, lot of fishing vine. songs. Um, <laughs> I Shanties? Would a shanty no, work? I don't know. Um, if we could try. And she like, uh, she like turns over and pats on her. <laughs> Get on here. On her lap. <laughs> he kind of like looks for a second. I am your sister, technically, so... I guess. Um, okay. Uh, close your eyes and nobody look. Okay. I need to like lies down. <laughs> He's just like embarrassed. I think Coral <laughs> listens. I think she closes her eyes. That's going to make him more comfortable. <laughs> and he kind of like lies there. And I think he kind of like takes, before he lies, puts his head down on her lap, kind of like takes off the uh, hair, like hair band that he wears to keep his hair out of his face. Kind of like just plays with the beads on it. Um, as he, um, I don't know, takes deep breaths and tries to calm down. Um, Aww. yeah. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think Coral, like, uh, lets you settle in and, and you know, make sure you're comfortable and then very, like, gently, like, making sure that everything, like, is okay. Like, the, t the touch is all right. Like, checking in with body language and stuff. Yeah. So and then it's, like, petting your head. Um, and then I think like, uh, with how kind of like, um, rough on the edges Coral is and kind of like a goof, like, <laughs> um, I think it is surprising when she starts singing, like, like what kind of sounds to you like, or, or, you know, any of you maybe like a, like it's to her, it's a fishing song, but it kind of sounds like a siren song. Like it's very mm. like, it's very like melodious and mournful and um, a, like just a teeny bit haunting. <laughs> but I think to her, it's probably like the closest thing to a lullaby she can think of. <laughs> so That's yeah. That's beautiful. Go ahead and roll with harmony. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if they count when they hit the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, off, it's off the table, it doesn't count. I rolled well. Can you believe it? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. bah, bah, bah. A 10. Stop. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You did oh, it. I did it. Oh, finally. finally. A success. <laughs> so I also can you. ask you a question now. Um, and then you can both clear either a condition or two fatigue. Uh, ooh, okay. Or just I... kind of engage with, yeah, this. Yeah. Um, kind of like mumbles and just goes, um, who, who taught you that song? My mom taught me that one. She um, was always singing something, you know? Yeah. Not anymore. 
because she's dead. <laughs> oh, uh, so but you it's know, not, I can still hear her sometimes, not in like a voices way, but you know, just like in a no, I, I know. I sometimes think I can, yeah, I can hear my mom as well. Your mom's gone too, yeah, um, a couple of years now. Maybe our moms are in the spirit world together and they're hanging out and they're talking trash on our dad. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that sounds like something my mom would do. And yeah, I, my I mom like that, didn't yeah. talk a lot of trash, but she was easily influenced. So if your mom talked trash, she'd probably get on board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just kind of like, nuts, like, yeah, my mom would definitely talk trash. <laughs> Maybe you can teach me one of your mom's songs sometime. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and maybe I can. I'm not as great as a singer as my um, my older sister, but if you want to meet her, she can teach you as well. Yeah, is she? She have the same dad? No, different dad. Well, <laughs> I bet she'd still be a good friend. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead and resolve either fatigue or conditions. Uh, I think it's one condition, two fatigue. Yeah, one condition yeah. or two fatigue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm pretty okay on fatigue. So I'm gonna... <laughs> For a change. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, three out of five is not great, but it's better, it's better yeah. than all my conditions right now. Yeah. I think I'm going to remove that. afraid because in my in my attempt to make Azu feel less afraid, I, I imagine I calmed myself in some way. Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> While everybody's having um, these beautiful moments, you hear Bagel mumbling a little bit. Well, we're almost close to the royal palace. I wonder if anybody will take me to the prisons. I just want to go see my friend. I want to make sure he's not boiling any brains anymore. Bagel, you know how earlier you were like, you could just talk to me? That you could do yeah. that with us too, yeah. Oh! <laughs> both, oh goes both ways. Engaged. Oh! Yeah. Okay, well, um, is it, am I asking too much if I could, uh, yo, I, you look like you're a fire nation. You know what the royal palace down by the canal, there's like a little latch. If you go under the latch, it'll take you down some stairs. And if you go down the stairs, there's a series of doors. And if you pick the right door, you'll go down some more stairs. And then if you keep going down, you're eventually going to find, um, the, the secret prisons. Why do you know this? <laughs> how, how do you? How uh, how do you know about the the Fire Lord's secret prisons? Also, does Yali even know about this? Is my do question. I? I mean, <laughs> do I? I think it'd be uh, hilarious if Yali, who rumors. lives there, does not know yeah. where they are. But yeah. Beagle knows the exact <laughs> verbatim how path you have to take. How do you know how to get into the prisons? They're just a rumor from when I was growing up. You know, oh. ghost stories. Oh, no, no, those are real. I've been in and out of those a few times. The prisoners they keep there are for, like, special projects, and I didn't make the cut. I just sell cabbages. But there is a black market for cabbages. Have I ever told you about that? Yes, yes. I mentioned yes. several times. I yes. Think oh. So. Oh. Yes. Okay. So this, this child friend of yours who's interested in boiling brains is in the secret prison. Yep. Met him, like, last week. Not as into cabbages as you kids are. You kids are real cabbage patch kids. <laughs> okay, that's please stop. Let's, uh, Azu Coral Dejan. Yeah. We came together in the first place to find our father. And now all signs point to him being probably in the secret prison uh, underneath the Fire Lord's complex. Well, now that we're all together, what do you think? Should I mean, we go try to find him? I think at the very least, there's another one of us down there. I think yeah. so, too. I, I think we're going to have to go find him. And honestly, I was... Can I say something to y'all? I was kind of... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, we have really no choice. Go ahead, like, Dutch, kind of... No, it's, it's oh, oh, fine. Oh, okay. Just... <laughs> it's just, you know, I didn't think I was strong enough to protect all of you. And it was really 
nice to figure out that I could. And I guess that means I probably should be strong enough to probably protect our new sibling and our dad. So, and, you know, I, I can maybe give leave yourself my... some credit. Your yeah. whirlwind fought off like a dozen Fire Nation soldiers attacking you relentlessly. And a oh, whole type I've never seen anything like it. Wait, I had exactly. Okay, Azu, <laughs> read the room. Yeah. <laughs> read the room. <laughs> I just, you know, I I was supposed to lead my order one day, and part of that is protecting them. So, I guess that means I can try to. I guess that means I can live up to that. Hopefully. I'm sure that with you at the head, none of the orders of the Air Nomads will ever encounter any sort of harm. <gasps> Connie, you're a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's not her. Just like well, just as long clear. as you live. Just as to long be... as you live, Dechen, I'm sure the Air Nomads will be okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> wow. Man is gone! <laughs> wow. Did you just Inside my character, <laughs> you actually to an early death. Oh my god! <laughs> wait, wait. Wow! Oh, Dramatic irony. Oh my god, that was so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like it's a bittersweet thing because, like, in the end, like. All these other air moments not doing great for this one tiny sect of nuns it's like doing okay i don't know <laughs> canonically they all die honey yeah. <laughs> oh every air nomad <laughs> dead. Oh, oh no. my god oh, no. and you know who did that to you connie <laughs> connie did that to you connie not even yali <laughs> wasn't the fire uh -huh. lord mm -mm. yali didn't connie. make that meta joke connie made that meta joke <laughs> and you know it uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Distressing. Anyway, uh, let's return to our characters that don't know about any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> I might never recover. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the timing is pretty okay because I think we could wrap this up. Um, as the five of you make your way towards the world, the royal palace, and you kind of veer off towards um behind. Um, the palace, uh, you see the canal and standing at the entrance of where that hidden trap door is, you can see the shape of a young man, not much taller than Azu, um, black hair that is kind of like tousled, um, long gangly limbs for as short as they are, and... And the scene is going to set as kind of the camera zooms in on this kid that looks an awful lot like the description of your father. And the kid sneezes and a flame, a giant goat of flame shoots out of his face. And we'll end there. Another it's gotta sibling. Be, it's got to be awkward. Like, what if boogers come out? Do the boogers just like incinerate? They would incinerate. That would be yeah. helpful. You have yeah. no nose hairs ever. <laughs> the Sounds boogers are like just natural. Does he discipline. look? Do, or do, sorry, do they look younger than us? Yeah. More mm. older. Oh yeah. Okay. Younger. Okay. I like that one. <laughs> that is so that prolific. One. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Busy, it's busy a real man. Johnny Appleseed over here. He called him the <laughs> slutty dad for a reason. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So let us wrap things up with our post game uh, advancements. Um, also, Vanna, I realized because like you missed the session, you didn't get that extra advancement. You might as well mark it because, like, okay, why, why am I holding you back? <laughs> uh, well, we'll just assume that. Um, Coral did something <laughs> while yeah. being captured that was uh, growth worthy. So for this session, though, do you did you improve the lives of a community um, of average citizens or help an ordinary person with their problems, Coral? Is Bagel ordinary? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> I think comparatively, compared to you folks, he he's pretty normal. He's okay. normal for the for the cabbage community. Um, oh well, God. I mean, I think she made a concerted effort to make sure he wasn't left behind. So yeah, no, absolutely. So you can go ahead and take a growth advancement. 
And then um, what is it to unlock a thing? Is it three or four? Two. Two. What? Um, so you see how it's like out of one, or out, I mean out of two for each of those We are ones. on uh, cell 70. Yeah. If that helps. Laser if it growth. doesn't help. Oh, yes. Sorry, there's also a growth drop down at the very top. So is yeah. that just mineral or? Uh, you know, I would thought about that at some point and I really didn't know how to engage with it. Okay. Good. I figure since we're doing like a four or five shot, like cheating a little and advancing yeah. a little bit faster might be okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So sorry, Carl, what um do you want to raise your stat? Are you gonna shift your center? Do you um, want to take another move? Yeah, I will go to two out of two to take a new move. Um, so I'll add a new move for next time. Perfect. And then my third one, I will um I guess I'll unlock your moment of balance. I'll just put one towards that. Perfect. Uh, all right. Yali, uh, do you want to go ahead and read what your uh, growth yes. question is? Did you learn something meaningful or important about your lineage, its members, or its effects on the world and others? We learned that we have yet another step sibling and that <laughs> one of my... My great dad, Fire Lord, who knows? I don't know what he would count as here, Uncle. Uh, it has a secret prison. Does that count? Mm -hmm. I think I so. Know. Okay. I That's one think so. Right? Uh, I've already unlocked my moment of balance. So I guess. Ooh, how much does raise a stat cost? It doesn't. Why doesn't that have a marker? Uh, we're going to make it a one. So if Can everybody even wants that one, you might as well go for it that way. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go for it, and I will Perfect. raise my uh, creativity. I use that a lot uh, by one, yeah. so it's a plus two. Nice. Fabulous. Uh, De Chen, let us know what your growth question is again. Um, sorry, growth quest. My growth question is: Did you accomplish a feat worthy of your burden and tradition? And yeah, I, I kept my people safe from yeah, a whole bunch did. of people so i'm going to take a move uh from my playbook i'm going to take meditation awesome and then if you want to raise a stat by one you are more than welcome uh meditation already oh okay yeah in addition to that cool yeah because we're, we're ending this out of three to, like next week's our not last session and we're not awesome. really going to go through the growth love it okay Marvelous. All right, Azu, tell me about your growth question. Yeah. So my growth question is, did you make progress towards your goal against your adversary? Um, I mean, we're going towards them as far as I'm aware, or at the very least, we're going towards someone who might know where they are, um, our mysterious either sibling. Mm -hmm. um, so I, think, I think that counts. I think so. Um, and for the sake of unity equity go ahead and mark uh, uh your stat plus one okay who knows you might need the buff things might get <laughs> scary okay so i shouldn't take a different okay i'll take that growth instead then yeah so everybody should have three total okay so like, if I you want to take it i didn't you make missed it. one uh, mm -hmm. i didn't miss one next last week i just we just didn't progress yeah yeah, so um, I one. I'm going to, I'll give you one for that really badass headbutt. I know that's not <laughs> how it works, but it's how it works in this session. Oh, Thank so you. to be clear, we are, we have uh, just one, we're bumping up our sets by one, right? Yes. Yeah. All like of our one stats? Stat, one, one by step. one. Yeah. Oh, all of our stats are going up by one. No, no. One, one of them. Just one of them. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I was very confused. There you ah, go. Huzzah. No worries. It can be a maximum of plus two to any stat. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay. gonna take take a new move. I want to take yeah. um uh, I think it's walls can't hold me. Yes, walls can't hold me. When you rely on your skill and training to dangerously smash your way through walls, obstacles, roll passion instead of focus. Nice. 
That sounds like it could be useful for you. Very. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, everybody, again, for tuning in to our penultimate episode of Avatar Legends, the RPG, a learn-to-play handful of episodes where we are not only learning how to play uh, Avatar Legends, we are learning just how far people are willing to go for nipples. Um, and I think that in itself is a pretty beautiful thing. So thank you, everybody, who donated to increase the amount of nipples that Razor Wing has. I think we ended up with 19 nipples uh to be allocated as we see fit we also have two more toasts yeah we have two more toasts yeah oh at the end hey all right boys games i hope that everyone has the opportunity whatever their work environment may be to be surrounded by people that they respect and are inspired by a quote by janet verney by avatar cora ah woo that's um, beautiful. From good old dad, Papa Brain Boiler. Uh, what has two butts kills people? Two butts and kills people. Oh, uh, and, and ass, ass, ass in. Ass, and ass, 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 ass in. in. Okay. What has two oh butts and God. kills people? I'm so gonna say that joke out, again tonight. Can we find <laughs> out who Papa Brain Boiler is and like ban them? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you liked it, don't worry. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, everybody, um, let's go around before we do our complete outro. I have been your host, B Zelda. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as at B underscore Zelda. I'm a podcaster, streamer, sometimes cosplayer, and the community manager for D&D Adventures League. Uh, Michelle, where can folks find and support you? Thanks so much. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Kiln Fiend Potter, uh, where I mostly talk about TTRPGs, Magic the Gathering, um, and other societal things that make me unhappy or happy, mostly cats. Um, you can also, I'll be starting a stream hopefully next week. So you can hopefully catch me on Monday evenings Eastern, where I'll just be doing something comforting and creative, like making Legos or painting and you just come and hang out. Um, yeah, you can find that twitch.tv slash Kiln Fiend Potter. Um, Connie, where can we find you? Hey folks, I play Yali, the successor, the firebender, the uh, stuck up rich kid who is learning how to love. Uh, I make friends. Uh, but outside of this, I am uh, better known as GM Connie uh, on the Twitters. Uh, you can follow me at by Connie Chong, B Y C O N N I E C H A N G. Uh, I am the GM and creative producer for Trans Planar RPG, which is an all transgender, people of color led, 100% homebrew DD show set in Endake, an original non colonial anti orientalist world. If that's interesting, to you in any way shape or form tune in saturdays at 5 p.m uh, pacific 7 p.m central or 8 p.m eastern uh because we stream every saturday or catch up on the backlog of our past episodes in a highly edited polished audio format in podcast form wherever you pod your cast just search trans planar rpg follow us on twitter and twitch that way and a happy lunar new year to everyone Yay. i am wearing uh, red to welcome in the new year and i hope uh everyone's new uh, Year of the Tiger brings many blessings uh, to yes. everyone. Yes, <laughs> Yes, yes. yes. Uh, and I'm going to pass along things to Drac. Yeah, hi. I'm Drac or Draconics. You can find me on Twitter at Draconics. That's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Doing Ozzy's voice apparently ruins my throat. Um, I <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> I love it. I stream all over the place. So honestly, just follow me on Twitter. It's probably the best place to find out what I'm doing at any given moment. Um, but it's on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern. I want to be over on Rule of Law, and that's R U L E O F L O R E on Twitch um, for a Cyber Season campaign called Infinite Horizon, where I play a town traveling lizard alien. Um, on next Thursday, so every other Thursday, I'm going to be over on Runaway Robots channel, Runaway Robot underscore on Twitch at 3 p.m. Eastern for a DD campaign called Ruin Crimson, where we kind of wake up in hell and trying to figure out why and how to get out. And I play a uh, Warlock. Tortor, who's a warlord, also known as a war tortor. That's the only what? reason why I chose the two character combination, the race wow. combination and <laughs> class combination. Um, ah. I get to call myself a war tortor. Um, and that's a lot of fun. On Friday, this Friday, I'm going to be guesting over on Stella Luna's channel um, at 9 p.m. Eastern or 6 p.m. Pacific um, for another DD campaign. I'm going to be coming back as Dari, the champion of time. I'm going to be helping out their gang with a little adventure where they have to go into a timeline where they're nearing the apocalypse and need to get the soul of someone before the whole universe ends. Um, so that's, that's going to be fun. Classic, you know, classic story. Um, 
but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just keep an eye on my Twitter. There's more stuff in the works that I can't talk about just yet. All right, and then leading us out, Vanna. Hi, hello, I'm Vanna. Uh, you can find me streaming full-time at twitch.tv slash Vanna. That's V-A-N-A. You can find me on most socials at Havana Rama, H-A-V-A-N-A-R-A-M-A. -A -A um, and all my other stuff is kind of in transition right now, so I don't have anything specific to plug, but um someone teach me how to use a google sheet that'd be great hit me up <laughs> okay Vanna. yes <laughs> there done done deal great great great. great 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 fabulous well thank you everybody if you want to catch up on all of our shows you can find us on youtube or as podcasts remember to like comment and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when new content is posted on the channel join the exploration society on ko-fi and join our discord where we talk shop all day long including how many nipples is appropriate for a flying razor wing <laughs> to have 19 too many too little let us know um we have a princess bride watch along coming soon so stay tuned for that and we will catch you next tuesday for a new episode of rpg exploration society for the finale of avatar legends oh. a learn to play series you are not going to want to miss it that is tuesday at 6 p.m pacific right here bye bye, bye. 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 bye.